Good afternoon, Broncos. You've seen the signs. You've heard the words. Silence equals violence. When we're part of a family, part of a team, part of a school, part of an organization, we believe that the people that we work with and, and are close to are good people, and we don't believe that they can do anything wrong. But we have to realize that sometimes when we recognize that things are wrong, we have to speak up. We have to realize that there are certain things that are just wrong. And following orders has never been an excuse for hurting people or justifying bad actions. When things are happening and we recognize that it is bad, we have to do something. But if we're not able to do something, we can't be silent because otherwise we are complicit in that violence. And we've seen that for too long. And we know that things now have to change and people are working towards making those changes. But it has to be for everything, not just police who have to speak up and not hide the violence of, of others and lie for them, but in everything we do. At school, whether it's, it's students or teachers, months ago, the teachers were called to task to say, hey, you've heard things, but you didn't say anything. And by being silent, you're condoning those things. And so whatever situations we're in, we have to know that we cannot stand for violence. And if we witness it and don't say anything, then we're complicit. Even in political parties, and there's different political parties that have different aims. Some have different goals to help people, whether they think tax breaks might be better for an individual or a corporation. Those are all things that can be deb debated, but violence can never be debated. It is wrong. And if somebody in that party is creating division and is promoting violence, then members of the party who are silent are complicit in that violence and that racism. And so if they don't stand up and say things and, they're, and they're, their silence is complicit in creating division and racism, then they need to be voted out. Or they need to have protests at their office to say, hey, you are being part of the problem. And so whatever it is, I know that sometimes it is, it is hard when we work with people to think they're good people, but we can't be silent because that silence allows bad things to continue on. The only way we can stop that is for everyone to not allow it to happen. So be aware of the things, know when things are wrong and you feel it's wrong, then you need, you need to stand up and you need to know that if you don't, then your silence is helping to perpetuate the violence. Broncos, don't be silent to racism. Don't be silent because you think that it doesn't affect you, because it does. We are all part of the same team, and that team is the human race. And so we need to flourish together. Global changes come from each individual doing their part. So let's work together against racism. Let's speak up when we need to speak up. Let's not be silent and let's make this world a changed world for the better.